Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna finish going over the top 13 tips for running with asthma. We already got the first one through seven in my previous video, which I'll have a card right here. So let's just jump right into number eight. Number eight is run in the morning. By running in the morning, there's less air pollution and less pollen in the air. So it won't trigger any asthma symptoms from happening and you won't have an asthma attack. So running in the morning is the best time if you're gonna run outside. Number nine is understand your limits. That means know your body. That jumps right back into the other one, right? Know your body when you feel flushed or when you feel any type of way. But this is knowing your limits because sometimes you wanna push yourself. Like, oh, let me just go a little further. Oh, let me just go one more lap. You know, don't do that because for me, myself, I've done that before where I was like, you know what, I'm gonna sprint at the very end of my run, I'm gonna give it my all. And what that ended up happening was I gave it my all, but I caused an asthma attack. I couldn't catch my breath. My heartbeat was going so fast. And I was like, <sighs> panting, panting, use my rescue inhaler, wasn't working. I was freaking out. I had to go inside the house. Uh, I had to get my nebulizer, put my saline solution in there, breathe it in. I didn't dial 911 just yet. I was giving myself some time to try to get over it um, since the you know fire stations literally two minutes away from my house, so I wasn't really worried. Uh, and yeah, so after that, I was able to catch my breath, but I pushed my limits when I wasn't ready. They say it's good to push your limits, yes, but you got to know your body, again, with video one, but you gotta know your limits. If you're gonna push that limits, don't push it too much. You will cause an asthma attack, you will not feel good, and one thing will lead to another, and you might be hospitalized. With that, we're gonna jump right in to number 10, and that is warm up and cool down. You wanna warm up 10 minutes before you run, and also you wanna cool down 10 minutes after your run. What that does is, let's say the house is air conditioned and you go run outside, well drastic temperature changes can put you into asthma symptoms. It'll give you asthma symptoms by this drastic change to your body. Your body just got done running, it's hot, it's sweaty, it's going all, you know, you're, you're just like, <sighs> You come inside the house and bam, it's cold. And you're like, oh, and then your body will go into shock. It'll cause some asthma symptoms to happen. And one thing can lead to another again, and you can have asthma attack. Warming up also helps this. It gets your body ready to go for a run. Instead of just walking outside, put your running shoes on, just go for it. You want to get your body prepped. You want to get your body ready for it. You want to get your lungs ready, right? Do some breathing exercises and stuff like that. You want to prep 10 minutes before and 10 minutes after running. Let's just jump into number 11. This one goes with the first video when I was talking about when it's cold. This is cover your mouth and nose when running. And that really just means if it's cold outside, just make sure your mouth and nose is covered. You don't want to breathe in cold air because it could lead to asthma symptoms, asthma attack. You can get worse. You know, every time I run outside, I get bronchitis and I've gotten pneumonia a few times. So you want to avoid that as, at all possible. So just stay warm. Cover your mouth, cover your nose with a bandana, cover it with a scarf, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, I s always use a jacket. I use two jackets and a shirt under it without putting anything over my mouth, but I'm used to it already. So number 12, always shower after running outside. You don't want to track in all this pollen, all this pollution from outside. So what you can do is you can leave your running clothes outside, running shoes outside, and then come straight in the house Make sure you have your clothes ready in the bathroom. So you can just walk in the bathroom, undress, unless you already took off everything outside and you come inside, if you live alone, of course, or with your significant other, hop in that shower and just wash it all off. You don't want to have it in your bed. You don't want to have it on your couch, you know, because it, by breathing it is, it'll activate your asthma symptoms. It'll activate your allergies and one thing will lead to another again and asthma attack or something else. And last but not least, number 13 is just take extra precautions when running. You know, know your body, know your limits. Always maybe run with somebody or at least let somebody know you're gonna go for a run. Run where people can see you because if you do have an asthma attack and let's say you're running in a random alley and you have an asthma attack, you collapse, no one's gonna see you and you can possibly die from that. But let's say you're running at a park where there's a lot of people and you collapse, people will see that, they'll run over and they'll come to you. And this will lead to another precaution is make sure you have an, like an asthma card, something about you, who you are, emergency contact, 
stuff like that. So you can just be like, hey, you know, they'll see you falling over. You can pull it out, give it to them if you're not conscious. They can pull it out and see, call 911. Oh, yes, he, he has asthma, had an asthma attack. Please come here. Maybe they can help you with the inhaler so you can breathe in that, uh, your albuterol or your rescue inhaler and, you know, could possibly life-saving. You never know. So take extra precautions in running, especially if you have an asthma. So those are the last tips for running with asthma to give you a total of 13 tips. So once again, yes, you can run and yes, you should run. Take it nice and slow. Consult with your doctor. Those are the top two tips that I'm going to keep being consistent about. I'm going to keep on saying it because your doctor will only give you safety tips. It'll make sure you are um, safe when running. You'll have these precautions. Have that asthma action plan to protect yourself and always take it slow, especially if you're just getting into it, especially if you have you know, exercise-induced asthma or running-induced asthma. Just Take it slow. Take it easy. Consult with the doctor, guys. All right. I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode. Thanks, guys.